transparency, and the rule of law will be the touchstones of this presidency. The hearing in the case of Bradley Manning, the jailed U.S. soldier accused of leaking vast amounts of data to WikiLeaks, begins today. Joining the military is uh, it's signing a sacred contract, and the intention behind that contract is to protect. We come to Iraq with respect for its citizens, for their great civilization, and for the religious faiths they practice. I still remember the light beaming and the strong sound deafening. Um, it was one of the scariest moments I've ever lived in my life. When I got to Iraq, I pretty much hated everybody in Iraq. In basic training, we were basically taught that somehow they're going to miraculously appear in our, in our living rooms if we don't kill them. What hit me the most was seeing strange people in uniform marching down streets of my neighborhood you know, pretending like they owned the country. Come on, fire! Hey, Roger. We were told to uh, move to that location. What I saw when I looked into the van was a little girl about four years old. She had a wound to the stomach. She had shards of glass in her eyes and in her hair. Next to her was a boy about eight years old. He wasn't breathing. I took my gloves off and was picking glass out of her eyes so that the little girl could blink. I started crying because um, I have I have children who are the same age. And uh, when I looked inside the van, I saw my own. There was no difference. I, I kept thinking, these are children. What are we doing? Everybody that we kill seems to be a child or a woman or a man who had no weapon, and it's all we seem to kill. You've got the government saying one thing happened in the collateral murder video when the, in that incident, and then the collateral murder video proving something happened that's very different. That's government secrecy. Americans do have the right to know things. I find it unfortunate, but I wasn't that shocked when the video came out. Oh yeah, look at those dead bastards. I, I was more shocked that it was public and that people were finally reacting to it. What Bradley Manning did was help shed light on civilian casualties and put more focus Onto it. The fact that in Iraq they stopped counting after a certain number, I just think the confirmation of seeing the way that the government looks at war was what was most important about that. Bradley Manning has been convicted of espionage after leaking hundreds of thousands of classified government documents. He could spend a significant part of his life in jail. You gotta get a, a kid squad together and shoot this guy. He jeopardized national security. People who say that Bradley Manning is endangering the lives of soldiers, um, they're living in a fantasy world because our lives were endangered long before Bradley Manning. We face a real security threat, not from whistleblowers and leaks, but from extreme government secrecy. And I think the past 10 years of disastrous UN foreign policy, caused in large part by excessive secrecy and distortion, shows that well, clearly. I had had these moments where I felt like I know about something. Who could I possibly tell? It was so overwhelming. Um, so to hear about somebody that actually did find a way to tell somebody was pretty satisfying, actually. How could you not celebrate that? How could you not celebrate truth? There's this one side that the media gives us. Well, he put out the other side, which is a little bit closer to reality. This is how journalism, investigative journalism works, Jeff, is that people inside the government with a conscience come forward when they find out things that their government is doing that are wrong, and they disclose it to the world through media outlets and journalism. If you think that's criminal, you're essentially calling for the end of investigative journalism. The Obama administration did promise to be the whistleblower's best friend. I actually used to be a plaintiff's attorney that represented whistleblowers. The way to make government responsible is to hold it accountable. So I know a little bit about whistleblowing and making sure that those folks get protection. Bradley Manning is going to be called many different things. What I call Bradley Manning is hero. Where the media failed, where the government failed, Bradley Manning succeeded. He's braver than any infantry soldier that I've ever met. He saved lives, he never put lives in danger.